Hey, what's going on guys? Your boy Chosen Mighty here, and today we are bringing you the second episode of The God Pod, <laughs> which is our podcast series, and we're just going to be bringing you guys these every Saturday. We're going to have these guys. We're going to have these on Spotify, we're going to have it on iTunes in just a little bit, and we're going to have it on Spreaker as well, but... I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. But today we have T Slayers with us. You guys can follow him. I'll have his Twitter in the description. He's under the guest. You'll see him down there. You'll also see him in my recommended channels. Um, and you can go check him out and you subscribe to him. He does a bunch of Pokemon Go stuff. But go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead yeah. and say hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody in Trolls Almighty Nation. This is... <laughs> Trolls Almighty I'm ex- so excited to be here for this podcast. Um, been wanting to do this a long time. Logan has been wanting to do it, too. So let's, you know, get to talking and stuff. I'm, I'm so excited. All right, so like last time, uh, okay, let me clarify a few things, okay? I talked about a, a, a we talked, a, let's just say this, we talked about a lot of things in the last podcast. Mm-hmm. Thomas listened to it. <laughs> we talked about a ton of things in the last podcast, and I'm, I think we're going to do that today, too. If you haven't um, watched that or listened to it, you need to go do it right now. Before you get on this one, because hashtag it's so shameless good. plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! But anyway, guys, um, we got a ton of different topics that we're gonna go over today. Um, I think the first one that we were gonna talk about is pro league. Um, I definitely wanted to get into a little bit of that, and we just want to talk about the gaming community in general. Um, I think it's crazy about how big the gaming community has become in the past few years oh yeah it has i mean since modern warfare 2 that modern warfare 2 was the first game that i really saw that there was a huge community around yeah um I, because that was the first one i was really introduced to yeah i but, I, I grew up playing i'm a little bit older so i played like halo halo right. one two and three like <laughs> right. those were really big back in the day i remember those and now it's like call of duty battlefield fortnite you know all these other games have taken over how this game industry is. It ain't just, you know, like one or two games. Now it's like multiple games. It's doing like esports and everything else. Right. You know, so um, I, it's just amazing how much like content is out there for like esports, like different types of games. Right. You know what would be crazy, dude? If you went back even 20 years mm-hmm. and you said there is going to be in the future, 20 years from now, a streaming service that you can stream to your phone video games of people playing Madden and they commentate <laughs> and they make it like a real life sports yeah. cast. I mean, I've and, never and they would that. be like that. Psh, no, yeah, that, twenty years that, ago, that would never happened. Twenty years ago, I never thought I'm going to be watching people play games. I never yeah. even thought about that. Like, wow, like, I'll just play my own games. Like, why do I have to watch somebody? Well, that's the whole argument around like YouTubers anyway. Like, why would you watch somebody play games? But really, I think that YouTubers are like. You're not. You're not really watching. I always say that. <laughs> I always say this about my channel, man. It's not about really the gameplay. It's usually yeah. about the commentary. It really is. It really. You is. know. It, that's why people watch me. I think. You know, oh, yeah. my gameplay. It's pretty good. You know. Yeah. But it's. Like, you're there for the commentary. Like, like for me doing my Pokemon Go streams and like vlogs of gameplay. Like people just love just to watch it and see how this person does things and see how like me like I got different types of Pokemon and. I've grinded for like a long time since the game came out, and you know people was respecting me like, wow, he's got 100% Gyarados or this and that, and it's just you're seeing different you know perspectives of people's gameplay, the characters and all this other stuff. So I mean, you know people watch me all the time. Uh, probably have like between like 10 to 20 people in live streams every now and then, just following it out because I mean, I'm a small channel, I'm growing. Oh right, yeah. I mean, but yeah, people love it. People do, you know. Well, honestly, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna be. Uh, <laughs> let's say uh, I don't know. Like, we have to say it in a kind of politically correct way, but I'm not gonna be. Uh, let's say lollipopping anyone today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Thomas, man, he said he he started out. What was it? Just a few months ago? Yeah, like back in like end of November of 2018. I mean, it, it was honestly crazy. He told me about, he said, hey, man, I'm starting this YouTube channel. I was like, that's great. <laughs> I was so behind it. And I even helped him out, you know. And I edit, I help edit some of his videos, and I'm there. I help him shoot sometimes yes. whenever we have off time, you know. And it, it just to see him growing the way he is is just, it's phenomenal, man. Yeah, you know, like I'm all in the Pokemon Go community, Pokemon community on YouTube, you know. Just so, like, people know who I am now. And now I just got to get you know more subs and everything like that. Then 
I'll be set. I mean, I'm getting close to 100, guys. So I got I think I, as of right now, I think I'm on 85. That's sick, man. <laughs> and you know, it's only January, and I've been doing this for not even fully two months yet to 85. And the locals already kind of know me in like in the Pokemon Go community online. So yeah, I got my name out there. I'm on Twitter and everything, sharing pictures, people liking that. So I mean. It's all up here, you know, uphill from here for me. So, and just to state it one more time, in case you guys didn't catch it, it, everything will be linked below in the description. I did say last time I was gonna have links on the screens. Uh, <laughs> that was a terrible idea. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below, and there'll be a ton of links, just like last time. I think there was about 16 links to a bunch of yeah. different stuff that you could go yeah, and in the check last out. Video, you had a bunch of stuff. I just yeah, and you could on all of them. Yeah, 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 you could just go check out literally everything, and we're gonna do that today about everything that we talk about. So. <clears throat> We've already talked about how much of an impact that the gaming community has had, so let's talk about, for real, the one that's had the most impact, at least that I think, and that's Fortnite. And at least hear me out, before everyone's like, it's a kid's game, and even Noah Moore is probably going to hate me for saying that, <laughs> because, I don't know, Noah Moore just hates Fortnite. Dude, I mean, but. Listen, Fortnite is a, is a different beast. Oh, yeah. Just because, okay... I've been watching, like, Ninja, of course, Ninja, and, like, Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect, he's really good, but he's not the greatest at Fortnite. But he's been learning to get better at the game. And, you know, it ain't just shooting. You gotta you gotta be smart on defense. You gotta learn how to build. You gotta know how to build fast, accurate, do your edits. You know? If you don't do that, you're gonna get killed by some pro. I mean, yeah. Fortnite is so much harder than Call of Duty or any other shooter just because you can get killed from 360 degree angle like anywhere anywhere somebody can shoot oh, yeah, you from like anywhere field. Yeah. Up, up top underneath you if you're up in a building they can take the building out you fall to your death you get shot from the left to the right you know like a, just everywhere you gotta be on your toes the whole game yeah and you, and you gotta have talent yeah I mean and even you know if you wanna bash the graphics it, it's an art style you yeah. know like it's like shell shaded graphics, it's, you know, right? But bad. I think it was cool that Fortnite wasn't even supposed to be, you know, a PvP game. No, it was, just, it was meant to be PvE the whole yeah. time, and I think that's just incredible. And it even blew my mind that Fortnite is two years old, dude. It came out in twenty seventeen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, like October or September twenty seventeen. Oh, I don't even know what it. I just saw that the year. Yeah, I, it's like a year and a half. But going still, on. like, if that's that yeah. crazy, dude. I think they had their uh, birthday in twenty eighteen of October. So I think October 2017 was the birth year of the online battle royale version of Fortnite. I could be wrong, but it's somewhere around Nove October November. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll put the credible source of Wikipedia in the <laughs> description. Telling Somebody's you. like, I know it's October, October 13, 2017. I know that it's a fact. Oh man, that's awesome. But honestly, the fact that they even made it cross console, like that—that that was the biggest. That's Fortnite is the game changer. Yeah, I mean, just for that, just for that fact. I mean, I mean, we talked about this so many times in our, you know, in our own personal conversation. But you know, it needs to be brought up in a podcast for real. It does. Um, it, and it, it is, it is crazy what Fortnite has done. Like, if you honestly think about it, you know, you can say whatever you want to about, you know, the graphics, even the gameplay. Yeah. If, you, if you don't like the building, but man, it's a game that has brought a ton of different people together. Yeah, I mean, you're telling me I can play this game on my phone. And, you know, you could be sitting in your house playing your PS4. We can squad up. And I can play on my phone, mobile, anywhere. You know, just anywhere. And or I can play on my Switch, my iPad, the computer, uh, Xbox. I mean, you can just play on Androids. I mean, everything. It brings everybody together. And... <laughs> <laughs> but... Together. Together. <laughs> this is the South. Somebody touch a mice. Together. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's it's, it's amazing. It, it, it's really amazing because I've, I'm glad Sony finally said, yes, we can finally do cross, uh, you know, gaming for everybody. And I mean, you know, it's just, it's beautiful that hopefully other games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, because, you know, you have Battlefield for Play PlayStation, I have Battlefield for Xbox. And I really don't want to spend extra money, too, because I have a PS4 as well. But I, you know, I don't want to spend extra money to, you know, play that game on that console just for what, yes. just for like one friend, right? And hopefully, 
they'll take notes on this and let everybody cross play with all consoles with that same game. I think that'd be really cool. That's really the biggest thing missing. But the thing is that if they do that, then what is the separation between the game? Like, what ma- what makes you want to buy PlayStation Four over an Xbox? You know. Well, that's for exclusives. Um, I, you know, like we we are both different. Like you, know, you're, you're you're strictly PS Four. I have like all the consoles, but I mainly play on my Xbox because me and my brother we game share and. You know, I just I just like Xbox a little bit more and PS4. I loved PS4 and I play PS4 exclusives only on the PS4. I mean, there's a lot of people that have multiple consoles, and but for these multiple console people like me, they pick one console over the other as their main, and then they use the other console for exclusives. And that's what I do. You know. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, even I love The Last of Us. <laughs> oh yeah, man. And honestly, I yeah. wish I could have done a playthrough of that. But there was some reason I didn't really just... I don't know if I told you guys this or not. I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel. But I couldn't get The Last of Us to work on my PlayStation for some odd reason. So I'm going to have to look into that. But I did want to do a playthrough of it a long time ago. That's weird. Yeah, it was it like it was weird because I would get to the part, you know, right in the beginning when you're going on the curves and you're driving in the car. Yeah. Okay. Well, the players, like the actual... Uh, uh, models the, of the people mm-hmm. would start glitching out and just go outside of the car. <laughs> yeah, and the, and and after that, the game was just it was broken. It wouldn't it wouldn't work. Really? Right. It was crazy, man. That's weird. Yeah. Like, have you ever like tried to patch it or anything? No. So I, I have no idea what the heck is wrong with it. So come on, Sony, you need to fix yeah. that. <laughs> come on, Sony. Uh, PlayStation. <laughs> uh. He got his money. He, he got the remastered. We ain't giving him no more. I even did. No I more. even bought it on PlayStation 3, and then I was like, man, I love it so much, I'll buy it on PlayStation 4 remastered. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, no. <laughs> Slapping you down. Get back in your place. Exactly. God, but, uh, man, I mean, it was still crazy. I mean, just that, I, like I said, hopefully cross console will be in the future. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I mean, you know, I would like to see, see Nintendo and and Xbox, or I should say Microsoft, have been kind of flirty lately. They've been sharing stuff like uh, mm-hmm. Minecraft is on like, all consoles, but Microsoft bought the Minecraft Mojang company. And when every time that you buy Minecraft on the PS4 or Switch or something like that, Microsoft gets a big percentage of that money. And it is insane. Because like, oh, you want to play Minecraft on PS4? Oh, is that going to hurt Microsoft? Nope, because they get a percentage money chunk out of that game anyways. So it's yeah, like go scale. ahead, buy it for whatever yeah. console you want to. But hey, Microsoft's still getting money, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're like, still coming our way. You got no a PS4, bits. it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's so much money in that anyway, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And like, um, like I was saying, with, but with Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been doing some weird stuff, and everybody thought that maybe Nintendo would consolidate with uh, Microsoft, and it'd be, instead of the big three, it'd be the big two. Because Nintendo had a little bit of... Uh, financial issues back when the Wii U was launched. Oh, I the Wii U did not sell good at right, all. Right, it did not. It, it, it didn't. And they, the only thing that kept Nintendo afloat was the the, the 3DS sales and software oh, yeah, for games. That. If it wasn't for the 3DS keeping them afloat, Nintendo would probably be under, and they'd probably be like Sega. How Sega oh, was a console rip. back in the yeah. day. But then Sega went under, and now they just only make software. They only make like Sonic games, and that's it. You know that they don't even own Alien anymore? Really? Yeah. I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Dude, they don't even own Alien. They don't even make the Alien games anymore. They're not a, they 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 were bought out. I did not know that. I don't remember the company name. It'll be in the description for sure. But they're about to make a new Alien game, uh, or there are hints and rumors of it, and Sega's not making it. And hmm. It's just like you know, it just feels weird, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 that. You know, that is really odd. I hope they make a good alien game. Cause the they last haven't made one, a great alien game in a long time. At least I haven't played a good one. Was the last one, I didn't play. Was the last one like a horror top game? Like the alien. Yeah, was like I didn't play that you? one. What was the it was the one that was in space. Yeah. Alien um, Isolation. There it is. There we go. Okay. Uh 
But I didn't play that one yet. I am wanting to play that, and I think I might be able to get it on discount soon, so we'll see. Yeah, all my friends that played it, they said, like, the Aliens AI is super crazy. Like, it's super smart. It knows where you're at. Like, if you play it on a hard difficulty, <laughs> good luck. You know, yeah, like, it's crazy hard. I and bet it, it'd be and, scary, too. And, and, <laughs> and it is scary. Like they said, like... You know, it comes like like oh, you don't think it's around you? And it's like a horror movie, like oh, around a corner, and then it's there like, it is. Whoosh. Yeah, just waiting for you. It's like yeah. right in your face. Yeah. yeah, I mean, wow. But I did not know that that Sega. Yeah. It, well, well, I don't know. Was Isolation or was it? No, Colonial Marines was before Isolation, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yes. The the Isolation is the most recent. Yes, most recent. Okay, like, probably about two or three years ago, maybe. I could be wrong. Somewhere around that time. Was, I mean, it's a recent game. Mm-hmm. I, re- I remember it. And I think even PD- I watched PewDiePie play a little bit of it. Yeah, I think um, I've seen it on the Xbox store for like 12 bucks for the complete edition. Yeah. I mean, that's a steal. It was cheap. Yeah. Dude, let me tell you about what's something I missed. And it's kind of a... It's still a scam. Let me tell you this. <laughs> and you, you might call me out PlayStation, but who cares, right? <laughs> but $30 for the gold edition, or I've, it was the very... The, the best edition that you could get for okay. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. For thirty dollars. Wow. Yeah, and you know those are like retail, like ninety. Yeah, they're like and crazy. It was high. thirty, and I missed it by one day and couldn't get it. I had it in my cart, and you and didn't, it didn't, and, it, and oh. I didn't pay for it, and then it, it didn't save over. You're right. So F's in the chat, guys. F, yeah, <laughs> major S in the chat. By the way, that is the thing on Fortnite. By the way, I yeah. don't know if you see it. Yep, big it F. is. Yep. So I'm going to see if I can grind and get that one because that'd be good. <laughs> F's in uh, the chat. I also did something. I'm going to admit it right now that I didn't think I would do, Thomas. What was that? What did you do? Well, I bought the Battle Pass. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I Flex. bought the Battle Pass, guys. Rip. You hey. can judge me in the comments. I know. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's just 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it was cheap. I mean, you can spend 10 bucks on anything else and it's not going to like last that long or anything so i mean i, mean, I spend 10 bucks probably every time i go to fast food something yeah, exactly you know? yeah like, i mean it, at least that 10 bucks will stay around on your Fortnite career you know right you'll have skins and i, mean, I will have the ice king i'm telling you, you that right now it. mark my words right now i'll have that ice king <laughs> i've said it so many times to all my friends but i am going to have that <laughs> it's all good i think we were like week four i think in the season and we got i think it was like what is there no, eight? it's six. Is it six? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. We're on week six. Week six. Dang. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm... And week seven comes out tomorrow. Man, I am that far behind thinking about that. Wow. Which I haven't done a whole lot of my battle pass either. I've been busy doing like my Pokemon career. So basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> better live streaming and stuff. So I've been trying to play the game as much as I can, but I do need to catch up. I think where you just got it, that's going to inspire me to grind with you, and we can get those tiers up so we can get everything unlocked for that ten dollars that we both spent. Very well, dude. I have something in the works, too, by the way. Um, okay. It's a video for Jurassic Park uh, or Jurassic World, the game. Uh, you know the little app game I have? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have some terribly bad news. Oh, no. What? For that game. All right. I'm just going to get you guys ready. Get the hype up for it if you guys are still still around for that. Because um, I don't know if you know this, but there are Jurassic World, the game videos that I get views on every day. And, like, they lead my channel views. Really? Yeah. Like, they, they pull the views. Like, I have one. Like, the first one I ever put out has, like, 5K, I think. And it Cake. pulls about 20 every day. 20 views a day. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really good. And uh, it's been a while, and it? Right, yeah. Because it, it was about almost a year and a half ago when I wow. started that. And it's still randomly, think, anyway. still randomly people were finding it and watching it. That is yeah. good. Yeah, well, it's just because the tags were... Ah, yeah, it, well, tags. really, I mean, YouTube's biggest secret is tags, and like, it's really metadata. If you know mm-hmm. how to, and I don't know, I would like to look at your YouTube's channel metadata just to make sure what we're doing is right. Um, correct. But I know that since I start making sure my tags were correct, I've been getting way more views than I normally did because, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that's really cool because like I know like you was telling me about tags, you know, like just rewarding things. Well, I mean, you have to be creative and, and all that. Yeah. You have to yeah. have a good thumbnail, of course. But oh yeah, you know. thumbnails bring all the kids to watch. You know, <laughs> bright colors. <laughs> I hope no one ever thinks I want. I I really hope you guys don't think I'm clickbait. If you guys do think I'm clickbait, just know I'm doing it for a joke. Okay. Yeah. I'm not ever like seriously trying to clickbait people. Yeah, we're all. Like all of our clickbait on either of our channels is just for for jokes. I mean, yeah. it's for laughs. It ain't nothing serious. <laughs> like, 
oh, he's got a Lamborghini, and he doesn't really have a Lamborghini in his thumbnail, you know? Kitty Mercy. <laughs> Yo, bitch, she's so thirsty. <laughs> Dude, um, you know what's funny? Um, in the There's going to be a Battlefield Five episode that comes out on, what is today right now, actually? Uh, technically the 17th as Thursday morning. So it is Thursday morning. We're recording this at 12.51 a.m. currently right now. That's, That's right. what the exact time is right now. We are late night yeah. podcasters. <laughs> night owls, baby. Night owls. But That's right. um, you're going to be seeing a Battlefield 5 episode on the exact day that we're talking right now. Uh, that, the day that we're recording this. Now, this is going up on a Saturday, so I hope you guys are having a great Saturday, by the way. I did forget to mention that. Hello, all fortune um, people. So, uh, we're about, future. what are we, 20 minutes in right now? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Uh, we're going to be streaming every Sunday, and we're going to be uh, podcast every Saturday. I love that. Oh, dude, it's sick, man. It's just like we have a chill weekend. Oh, yeah, perfect. And everybody, it's like a chill weekend. You come chill out yeah, like, you know, in a stream. And people you have their podcasts. Saturdays off. And they're just sitting there like, oh, man, I can't wait to listen to Trolls Almighty. You know, <laughs> oh, like God. on a Saturday. Oh, God. Yeah, yes. just going to relax. And, just, oh, oh. and if you're watching this on the great <laughs> YouTube, you can have nice game footage. What would that footage be of Saturday if you do watch this, listen to this on YouTube? So I also did forget to mention this, and I didn't... I did want to say it earlier. You're watching me build Jurassic World right now. Mm. It's about an hour and a half of footage that I've boiled down to an hour. <laughs> so I'm cutting a, bu- a little bit of stuff. You'll see a few cuts and all that stuff. But it's me building Jurassic World. Now, I've already worked on about half of it. Um, so you saw that at the beginning. But, you know, I'm you're basically going to be seeing me putting in a video. And I'm going to try to make a video uh, bringing this together and just do a whole, t- basically a tour. And just have people in it and just have a bunch of different cool screenshots and like have a cool video for it. That's going to be awesome. You'll probably see the Velociraptor, the T-Rex in your videos. Oh, yeah. I've already oh. got the T-Rex in there please and be, the Indominus. Please be but. flexing with your dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, dude. I, listen, I need to grind more on that game because yes. I need to unlock a lot, a lot I, more stuff. I, I, I think I did watch a lot of your live streams of, of the game back in the day. And, uh, yeah, I truly loved it. And, like... I don't have the game, but I love... This is going back to the same subject we talked about earlier. Just watching him play the game is so fun. Because yeah. I don't have it, and I'd like to have it, but I'm experiencing it through him and watching his creation come to life. And it's just it's just amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like a... And, it, and then if it's someone that's actually genuine, you know, you actually get like a... Oh, yeah. A genuine almost kind of connection with that person. Exactly. You know? So it's, it's really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, if YouTube, if YouTube was as cool as it used to be, you know, as cool as the idea of YouTube is, then it would be awesome. But there's a bunch of, <laughs> there's a bunch of downsides to YouTube. There is. I mean, but there's, there's a bunch of upsides as well. I would oh, just yeah. say that. Ching. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, not yet. We're not monetized yet. So, and we probably won't even be monetized in the future. <laughs> just because, I mean. You know, I just want to keep it real. You know, I don't want to be something that I'm not and just censor myself. Yeah. You know, I want to, and I'll say things, you know, that are right. funny, yeah. <laughs> at least I mean, to me, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't have to, Ooh, YouTube, why? Like, why do we have to be censored on what we say? I mean, I miss the good old days of old YouTube, like, like you know, 2016 PewDiePie. Like he's dropping f bombs and he's just saying everything. <laughs> yeah, he did. It didn't matter. Yeah, he did a lot. And now he has to like PG thirteen it. Yeah, I mean, he's got to censor still, everything. It's still funny because he makes his bleeps funny. Because you know what? Yeah, he's it saying. Gives, it makes it a certain type of creative on how can I make it funny without you know. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna say what I want to say for the, what's happening, but I'm gonna do a funny bleep. Or, yeah, yeah. So now you gotta be creative on your bleeps. Yeah, you know you just can't. Uh, can't drop no but still, on. the fact that you have the, the censorship is crazy, man. Yeah. And uh, let's not talk about it too much because yeah. we know that YouTube Overlord's going to be listening into this right now. And yeah. uh, I, I swear <laughs> they're like just he... going to be like, he's on to something. <laughs> he's on to something. I swear, I swear to God, it messes up notifications because he was live. Uh, uh, Trolls Almighty was live streaming about two days ago. And I had the notification bell, everything. Didn't get a notification bell. Didn't know he was live till like 30 minutes into it. Dude, I didn't even get... Yeah, that's what happened to me. I didn't even know that I was streaming. Like, I have notifications set yeah. up on my phone to make sure that everything's going okay. So, yeah. hey, my live stream's up. Okay, I see a notification. That means everything. Everyone else should have got one. Correct. But I didn't see one until about 45 minutes into the stream. Which is like what you yeah. said, about 30 minutes. Because I like pulled up my YouTube app 
And I just seen, like, you know, it came to the top. It said, Trolls Almighty is streaming. I was like, what? I was like, I didn't get a notification. I've totally been there from the start. Yeah. You know? And that's just, it's just weird. We actually did win in that stream, by the way. <laughs> just to talk about that stream. We did win in that stream, and I'm probably going to do a best of stream moments from that video. Um, it's unlisted right now, just so I can make the, the uncut. But I'll make a, a video for it and have it back out to you guys in just a second. Yeah, if you guys have not played any Fortnite lately, the one shot, or one tap, mode is <laughs> I was gonna say the, the one, one shot. tap yeah the one tap mode is amazing because you have snipers and you got you can get balloons you can float around do crazy 360 no scopes and just kill people <laughs> and you know it oh, if you get man. if you get hit once any part of the body you're, you're dead you can't revive your teammate you got to keep on going on without them fast paced fun game i mean fortnite has changed the world of shooters. Do you want to talk about Change of the World, dude? Change, you know, back yeah. in the day when Phase was a thing. <laughs> Speaking of like 360 no scopes, 360 you know, no scopes. Think about how Phase came. Like, you know, did you did you ever like watch those videos? At I all? watched them back in the day. Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, yeah. dude, like Phase. I when I watched them as a kid, I was like, oh my gosh, he's doing like, some wild, insane yeah. shots. I, I mean, I got into trick shotting for a long time, and you're and, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you. I mean, I, yeah, I showed you that video, mm-hmm. and yeah. I. I mean, I could. Put a link in. I'll actually. <laughs> ho ho! Our hashtag shameless plug for the podcast. Right is there. <laughs> well, bam! There you go. It'll be down in the description, so you guys can go check out a video of me trick shotting as a suicide off of a uh, the big ship. What is that name? I remember that. Yeah, you, you did show me that about a couple months ago. That was a really crazy shot. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was a lot. It was pretty complex. Yeah, you guys really need to check it out. You know, I only like, see it only took me about forty five minutes to hit it. You know, that seems like I a mean, long time, but you know, when you're sitting there like grinding, you sit, well, you'll see it, and you'll be like, oh, okay, I can see how well, that took. I mean, forty five minutes is probably a piece of cake because can you imagine how dude perfect like takes forever oh, for yeah, their dude. stuff? You know, they're just like, <laughs> like oh, they make it look so easy, but they're like doing like edits. They're like they're dude. probably like trying five thousand times. Dude, perfect is probably one of my favorite YouTube channels. Oh yeah, of all it's time. great. Like it's honestly up there with PewDiePie. For yeah, me, from for me because when I <laughs> I watch every video they put out, I it's mean, just so good. They got like a big giant warehouse of just fun activities they just randomly do. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, and, you know, they could just do. They have. Have you seen their new overtime? I don't think I have. Okay, I'm going to put a link, and you can go look at the playlist. <laughs> Links everywhere. Links in the description. Uh, <laughs> but um, their overtime segments are great. Like, it's like they have a little, it's legit, like a 30-minute show. And they also have their own TV show. Did you know that? I didn't. Wait, a TV show, like, on a TV oh, show? Oh, yeah, dude. They were on CMT. And they were on Nickelodeon. Wow. See, uh, yeah, I've uh, went to this new stage of how, like, TV is kind of going away from me and oh everybody, yeah and everybody really just is. watches youtube and twitch or amazon or netflix and i don't really watch a whole lot of tv like i watch probably like the shows i watch on tv is probably like the walking dead yeah and i might watch the occasional sports on the local channels when i'm home mm-hmm. and that's about it well even joe rogan said um before he like when he was in mma and all that stuff i mm-hmm. think that's when around the time and i might be wrong of course um but he, even he said that, how can TV compete with the internet, you know? You can't. You, you really can't. You can't. It's impossible. And TV and the internet, the hybrid, is basically Netflix. It is. It That's really basically is. what it is, because they even have their own shows now. I was about to say, like Netflix about to has their, their own shows, own originals, movies. Yeah. yeah, originals. I mean, the internet, you can just, whatever, like, you just type in anything that, that, that you want to see, you can get it from the internet. You can't do that from TV. You can't just type in... I want to see this and that. Like, no, you're stuck with a live program on a channel. Unless, if you know, if you got, like, plugged up to the internet and you can on-demand it. But guess right. what? You're using the internet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to me, I see TV is going to be in trouble. I mean, it's already kind of getting in trouble now with viewerships. Because a lot of shows are getting, like, low ratings. Even sports are getting low ratings. But in the social media world, they are very high in rat- ratings. And they're trying to figure out a way to get all those views so they're not like panicking like oh nobody's watching this nobody's watching this but hey the amc app has like 10 million views on the walking dead episode just dropped like two yeah hours that's ago. what that's what how i watch it yeah i watch it on the amc i don't even watch it on tv i watch it on the amc app. i'd much rather do that right i mean which is crazy i don't know why i do that but that's how i'm programmed yeah. but that's why that's exactly why they're doing it on snapchat which yeah. is ex- because you know they have a bigger 
audience. Audience on social yeah. media, you know? I mean, Snapchat, like, I'm assuming just about everybody almost has Snapchat in this day and time. Almost. I, yeah. I would assume. Well, let me ask you something, man. Have you looked at Snapchat on the App Store recently? No, I have not. You know it's only, at, like, two stars? It's like two or two, two and a half stars. stars. Why would Snapchat be two stars? Well, I think it has something to do with, you know how they made that update a long time ago? Um, and it, it what did it change? Well, it was just a whole layout of Snapchat. You remember that? It oh, was last year, God. And everything it, it, changed. It annoyed it, everybody. Right. I think that's what it, what it's about. But so, I could be wrong. Everyone so, was just like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> T- turn, turn it back to what it was. Yes. <laughs> I don't want this update. Like, I know, like, a lot of people, like, who didn't update their Snapchat for, like, many, many months until oh, it was yeah. forced. Because they was like, I'm not going to the new Snapchat. I don't like how it looked like. But didn't they kind of went back to the way it kind of was, didn't they? It's it, how, how, it, I don't like know. how the stories looks, were. Yeah. Because it messed up the stories. Because nobody yeah, could find them. Oh, yeah. The whole, the stories were way different. Like, nobody couldn't find them. And I was kind of like, where's the stories at? And I'm just like, oh, they... Made it complex. I don't know. That whole ch- change was so poorly done. Like, like they were they trying to change it. the whole format to be something that it was not, and nobody liked it at all. Well, they just want. It's the whole reason that you know fast food chains, you know, renovate their restaurants every like two to three years. Correct. Like, um, they're gonna renovate that McDonald's probably. Like we have, we live in St. Paul, okay, mm-hmm. but they're probably going to renovate that St. Paul McDonald's again. Yes. And and you know that store is probably. It don't feel like it, but I think it's probably like six, seven years old. And to me, it feels like it's, you know, it just came in like two or three years ago. Because it's still kind of modern looking. But yeah, they will probably revamp it under five years for sure. Oh, yeah. Just Easily. To, just to make sure that there's... Still up with there, the times. It's new, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. It's hip. It's, it's up. Yeah, it's, look at it's this. It, 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 it's the same dollar of burgers, but here's a new look, <laughs> you know? Like, did you ever look at Taco Bell back in the 90s? Like, how cool? Oh, and, like, my God, yes. Taco uh, Bell in the 90s was look the bomb. I, I wish it looked like that. Do still. you remember the one Norton? Yes, it's around us, local area. Norton. <laughs> do you remember it's Taco Bell before they remodeled it? It was, like, stuck in the 80s. No. I don't know if you remember that or not, because it was horrible. And, like, two years ago, like, I was going up there for, like, 2 o'clock in the morning to get some tacos randomly. And I went, up, I went up there. The building was gone. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was just up here five days ago, and this building was standing. And now it's what? gone. And I'm like, I am hungry. There's nowhere else I, 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 I'm going to starve. So, you know, I, I did like a quick like little search on Facebook, and they said, oh, yeah, we're going to demolish. Like, we, we, we demolished this building like two or three days ago, and we're going to wow. make a brand new one. Less than three months. Less than three months, a brand new state of the art Taco Bell building was made. But that was the longest three months of my life. I tell oh you. yeah, with the, I, I mean, I was so sad. Well, honestly, dude, I haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. It's been about two weeks for me, probably. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, it's been I think it, a, probably a month. Almost. Okay. It's not bad, cause uh, God, man, I used to <laughs> eat talk about Taco that like Bell. it's a long time. It's been like uh, it's been a long time. It's been like a month. Yeah, it's been like four weeks. <laughs> I'm having withdrawals. I'm having Taco Bell oh, withdrawals. God. I might go after this podcast. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. I could grab again. Hey, right, right before this podcast, how many? How many? What was it potato skins? Yeah, there was a ton of potato skins. Uh, probably at least around twelve to sixteen. Oh it, God! It, it was a lot. There was a lot of potato a lot skins. Of, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about that, I don't even feel it in my stomach. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, like you know, like you use this picking around it too, because like a lot of it was kind of burnt up. Yeah. And stuff. There and wasn't like, a lot of cheese it, either. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of cheese. Come on, Fridays. Come on, Fridays. Yeah. Quit, quit being skimpy on the cheese. Now we don't need to put some cheese on those. They really are the one of the greatest things, though. Like I, I'll give you a compliment. Like when you get a really cheesy potato skin for fridays mm. it's like even the ones that are like big you know, yes oh perfect oh my gosh those are the one of the nuts. biggest nuts <laughs> that you could possibly get yeah exactly because oh my gosh it's so so good yeah speaking of nut like yesterday i ate cheddars yes and got the big um it's not called texas cheese fries or something like that they used to be called texas cheese texas cheese fries but they i think they changed something it's a big bacon cheese fries. yeah okay i know what you're talking oh, about. are they good so there? amazing it's like nine dollars, but <laughs> let me tell you, it can feed four people easily. Oh wow! And it's appetizer. So I so I went there yesterday, 
I was like, mm, I want that. I'm like, yeah, it's nine dollars. Okay, cool. And then I got me a steak for like ten bucks, as well. I ate good for like twenty bucks. Yeah. Big big plate of food about eight ounce uh, sorlon steak. And that was perfect. I loved it. Dude, let me tell you, if you like that, have you ever tried the one in the Chili's? No, I. Ha- you know, oh, like okay, I, I've probably been to Chili's like three times out of my life, just because I haven't really. I just haven't been there wow. a lot. I mean, Chili's. I they like have it. the best corn in the cob. I'll really, tell you that. best corn on the yes, cob. Yes, because they have they put the salt and the pepper on it and cook it in that. Like you know how people grill it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. it's seasoned so good. You bite into it and it's so. Oh. oh. Oh, oh man <laughs> just sitting here thinking about I hate talking about food because it always makes me hungry like, maybe I'm just fat I don't know it's okay I got that fat mentality you know it's okay I love to eat <laughs> I do too I mean I really do it's like it seems like see I'm 29 years old it seems like after I turn 25 like they say like your uh, metabolism kind of changes for guys and I, I could tell I, I put on some weight since I was like 25 29 I used to weigh like around 160 to 170 now I'm at 205, and I can feel it. And one day, I want to go back to around at least 180 or so, so yeah. I can feel a bit more comfortable because my younger body was so much better than it is now. That's sure. one of the things I'm worried about, like in the future at least, like when I'm about 40. Like right. what is my body going to look like? I, I have no right. idea now, but I want to make sure that right. I'm in good health, you, you know? know? Yeah, like, you know, what, you're 21 now? Yeah. And like <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I'm legal to do whatever I want now. <laughs> but um, yeah, like when you hit 25, like hopefully uh, you'll be around for 25, so <laughs> I can be like, Logan, you put on 30 extra pounds. What happened to that? It's like I hit my 25 stage, dude. Okay, we're gonna do a whole complete swivel. All right, just like okay. we walk into a, you know, like those doors. Yeah, like just spin doors. around, revolve. Yep, and we're yep. just spinning in there. Okay. Okay. Right now, we said we were going to do this, and we forgot to do it, okay? Okay. And this is the title of the video. <laughs> oh, the God. title of the video. We're, we're, we're okay. So it's about, what, halfway through right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is perfect. Halfway through, let's bring it up. Okay. We are going to look at pictures of fat snakes. Now, I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm going to put a, pictures on YouTube, of course. Now, if you guys don't know what fat snakes look like, trust me. I'll put links down in the description, and you can go look at it. I have never seen a fat He's snake He's never in my life. seen a fat snake, so we're going to look it up. And while we're waiting, I want you to tell me what you think a fat snake looks like. I I don't know. Like, I, I guess it looks like wormy-ish almost, but like just like a fat, I don't know, it's like a, a thicker, a thicker snake-like. I don't know, it's like it's more girthier. Is that the word? Like more, I've, I have never seen a fat snake ever. Oh my god, okay. Wow. Well, here's a picture of a fat alligator. It looks <laughs> like, uh, how do you say, the unsnipped tip. <laughs> With a little teeth on the end. Oh, look at that title. Fat crocodile fat cro- dies after gorging <laughs> on chickens. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever Please, seen. Please uh, screenshot that for uh, me. As, yep, uh, that yeah, is going to be, that's yep. going to, you'll see that on the screen that 100%. Has, that has, that has oh, yeah, you're going to see that on the screen. What else do we have? We're trying to look at the fat snakes. Look at that. That's even cut. Wow. We're just looking, we're looking through some of the pictures right now currently. Well, that's insane. Look at that. That's like a fat salamander. What is that? It's like a wizard? What, what is that? Wow, that is a fat what? sal. What? Oh. No, that's a gecko. That's a, gecko. That's a okay. leopard gecko. Okay, okay. Yes, that is a leopard gecko. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like what, I was like, what is that? But uh, I'm not seeing the picture that it, I currently, or I saw that one time. Mm-hmm. Um, but it looks legit like a, a snake. Kind of kind of about this size. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just show you. But it was about this size. But they picked it up and it was like folding over on itself. And if I wow. find that picture, I'll put it in the description. Definitely. But man, I'll tell you what, man. If you, I'll put it in the description anyway. You'll see a picture of fat snakes. You want to see this okay. one? Okay. What's that one look like? No, that's not it, is it? Mm-mm. No. Huh. But man, I'll tell you what, they can get big. That is crazy. Yeah, I can't can't wait to do some research on that fat snake because I, I can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> it looks so... I can't even explain to you, dude. It looks like something from another planet. Like, wow. <laughs> it's like a bit... It's like a big folding thing, and I don't know. Just you, you. Once you see it, it kind of looks something similar like that. Um, but okay. All right, but 
<laughs> moving on. Yeah. Moving on. All right. Fat so, um, like we did last time, we actually had a few things that we writ uh, that we wrote. I almost say written down. <laughs> um, that we wrote down beforehand. Um, a few topics that we were going to go over. And uh, oh yes. We talked about the Mandela effect a lot the last episode, at least in the beginning. Yes. Um, but we forgot to mention the Berenstein Bears, or the Berenstein Berenstein or Berenstein. Berenstein. Yes. So it's really. I'm remembering from the '90s. It was Berenstein Bears. I think that's what I'm remembering. That's off the top of my head. That's the first thing that. That caused my memory was Steen, and now is it now is it Stain or is it Steen now? Which one is? I it? have no idea. I mean, we could do a Google search. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's cool if you want to. You okay, because I have no idea. I've honestly never done this. Right. You know, I've never honestly looked it up. Baron. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Baron hey, look, Stain. Look how the Google it brings up Stain and Steen. And I believe Steen is the look. Baron. That's Baron Stain. Right? Yeah, that's what that one is, is calling. It's calling it Bernstein Bears. I always thought it was Steen, personally. I always thought it was the Bernstein Bears. Now, what happens if you top it back and Google it in the other way? Like, okay. We're about to break the internet right yeah, here, we ladies are. and gentlemen. <laughs> Google's crashing right now. It's still yeah. saying Stain. Showing results for Bernstein. <laughs> See, guys, everybody, I think it was Bernstein. And... There's an angry video game nerd. If you want to search him up on uh, YouTube, don't worry, it's in the description. I'll put it in the description. Put that, so put that episode, it. guys. It will blow your mind. It's it's around a 20 minute video, but it is amazing. Wait, is that is that Steen right there? Oh, there is a picture. Unless or, that's Photoshop, you never really know. I think that might be off the Simpsons. Like the Simpsons are making fun of the Mandela effect, and I, and I think the Simpsons are probably right. Like it was. Berenstein, because I mean, they well, made the episodes st- back. Well, in the think day. about how crazy the many things the Simpsons has gotten co- the correct. correct. I mean, it's just Trump. Everything. And they even had the guy in the background correct. Correct. Did you see that? Yes. I'll put a picture of that in there too. Yes. But it's like, that's insane. They got that guy in the back in the background, just perfectly. Right. It was. It was. Well, perfect. Escalade, right? Yeah. No, yeah. 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 It was yeah. insane. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll put that in the description as well. Oh. Uh, but we can kind of break down the Bernstein, the whole Bernstein thing. It, it's basically the whole, like the Mandela effect. If you guys didn't see that that in the podcast last time, I'll go ahead and break it down for you. Yeah, this is proof. Um, some people remember, and even I remember the Bernstein. I, that's mm-hmm. what yeah. I remember it as. Yeah. But it's really, if you look it up, it's always going to be Bernstein. That look it up. Yeah, just <laughs> you, look, it, look up. it up for yourself. I'll put it in the description, but look it up for yourself, and you'll never find it. <laughs> and it, it's just amazing. I, I don't know I, why has the Mandela effect happened to the Baron Steen? I'm gonna say Steen, not Stain. Baron Steen Bears. Well, I meant to say it last podcast. As like, well. why was they picked on? But I, who knows? Yeah, that's the whole idea behind the Mandela effect, the old butterfly effect. Like, what yeah. would if you went back in time? What would it change? Exactly. Like, if you went back to see what dinosaurs were like, what would it change in the future? It would change something. Oh, definitely. So that's why you can't. That's why if time travel exists, it's already happened. I've already I've said that to you so many times. But yes. if if time travel exists, it's already happened. If it's in the future, if it happened in the past, and I heard this the other day, and think about how crazy this would be. In a span of two years, like a two, not two years, but two lifetimes. Mm-hmm. We've been able to go from grounded to the moon. Wow! Think about right. If you actually think about that, so if we died out right now, mm-hmm. okay, if something happened and we just got wiped out, just wiped out, gone. There would be very little evidence that we even did that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because except for the stuff that you know, they you can put that laser reflector. That's what they have on the moon right now to prove and say quote unquote <laughs> for those quote conspiracy on. theorists out there, but. Um, that proved that we went to the moon. Right. Um, but just think about how crazy that would be. Dude, that's just mind-blowing. It really is. Dude, I mean, it's insane. I, I don't know what... I mean, just <laughs> speechless from this part. Okay, so they... But listen, okay, so this is where it's going. All right? So there would be very little evidence that we even did it. Correct. And so if there was a future civilization that came through 
they would look back and just they like, would hardly ever know. Like, or if a, another species, uh, let's say an intelligent species like aliens or whatever, came through, they they wouldn't even know that we did it, right? Right. So why don't we know that civilizations from the past has, haven't already has gone been to space been as well? Here. Yeah, space. Yeah, it, I, I, I don't know, dude. I saw this in the Joe Rogan podcast, and I might even put this um, in the description as well. Just that that dis- that podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> um, but I might even put that podcast in the description where they talk about there's this old I don't know. It's like a carving. It was. It's in rock. Okay, mm-hmm. and it has the solar system, even Pluto in it, okay. down to a T, and the size. They already like had it all carved out, just everything perfect. And it was like a, yeah, I, you you would have to see the picture, but it would blow your mind, and I'll show it to you later. But and this is way back, yes. Yeah. And how I, how would somebody even back in the day know all of those planets and stuff existed? Well, it was heresy to even say that yeah. there was something like a solar system back then. Correct. So, you know that. And they had that down to a T, so something is going on there, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, easily something is going on. Like they had, they had, they they did have telescopes, and I want to say that Galileo did invent the telescope. Mm-hmm. I, am I right? Yeah, I think you're right, Galileo. I, I yeah. think that Galileo. I hope I'm yeah. right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, Logan, you're stupid. Fake news, fake news." But I think it was Galileo that invented the telescope, and I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But I know that Hook invented the microscope. Microscope. Uh, he because he looked at the uh, cells mm-hmm. of. Uh, what was a cork? That's what he looked at. <laughs> yep, you got it. Let's you got go. it right there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think it. I think it's just crazy that how, we we don't even know what the heck. What, we don't even know how they made the pyramids. No. Well, yeah, we don't even know how they made the pyramids. We were going to talk about that, like the yeah. pyramids. Like, how did that even come around? We don't even know how they made the pyramids. I mean, did some like alien thing just sit down? Some triangles, you know, like. <laughs> well, the crazy thing, and it was brought up in Aliens vs. Predator, and they could have made Aliens vs. Predator one of the coolest movies of all time if they would have just put a little more time into <sighs> it. But the concept behind it was great. That you know, why are there civilizations around the world, and they all came up with the idea to make pyramids? That's a little weird. Yeah, like why? Like, and of course, they probably got the, some like conspiracy theorists. Oh yeah, Blob. I mean, like, why does it have to be in that? Like, why does it have to be in that exact shape? But yeah, that, I don't know. It's it, and it's there in the Mayans. They build it a little differently, but it's still a pyramid. Yeah, and you know the Great Pyramids of Pisa are huge. They would just humble you. They would look like mountains. Yeah, just like just, just big giant triangle mountains. Yeah, I I, I don't know. That's I don't I and, and, and just to think about how much one of those blocks weighs. Yeah, I mean, there's no way physically like. A bunch of humans can just well, pick they, that up, or the whole speculation is that they brought slaves, you know, right? Slave and they was like and, pulling like ropes, and they still and, have pulley systems, yeah, and all pulley that. systems. But, but still, that's a lot of thousands of slaves. You're just gonna put them out there in the desert, and how are they gonna survive? Exactly. You know, you know that's the only thing. But there's also a theory that very when you go back in time to that time period of when the pyramids were built and the Sphinx was built, that there was more luscious. Uh, area and then it just turned into a desert recently in the past thousand years. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Much. I think it was the past five thousand years. Okay, and so that would go back. So once it, you go, if you it go was back, more like a tropical setting, probably somewhat. Like it, I th- more now, like a, I think it was like more of like a savanna jungle? plain, oh, savanna? Okay. and there could have been a little bit of rainforest, but I don't think okay. it was. It would have been similar to like a Congo Serengeti hybrid, I think. Now, of course, don't take me for everything. Yeah. I'm talking out of my. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> this is all <laughs> rambling, folks. Yeah, it's all rambling now. Uh, but yeah, it, just to think about how crazy that is, like something as big as the Sahara Desert, the biggest desert in the world right now, happened in the last five thousand years. Like, what's gonna happen in the next? Well, yeah, what's gonna happen to us? Well, what do you think's gonna happen to people in the future? Oh gosh, well I don't. Well, we're still multiplying quite a bit. Uh, what's the Earth population? Do you know? It's somewhat? about eight million, right? Eight. eight excuse eight, me, eight, eight billion, billion with a B. With a B. That is <laughs> insane that we have that many human life. On this planet. Well, I've told you this before, but if we don't take ourselves out, right? Yeah. And we live and we come up with all these, you know, there's going to be some point in the future, if we don't get taken out by anything and there's not like a mass extinction event, mm-hmm. that there's going to be a point in our future where there's a hundred billion people on this planet. That is insane. I, I, like, what are we going to do with that? 
I mean, there, there, there what, what's the option? Everywhere. Just like legitly everywhere. Well, there's only two last frontiers, and everyone says this, but it's true. But the ocean <laughs> and yes. space, you know? I mean, that, that is true. I mean, because, I mean, the the earth, the ground to water content, what? The water is, what's the percentage? There's so much more percentage of water. Oh, yeah. It's practically, than, yeah. Than, I think than, it, than I earth. don't know. They, they go back and forth between three quarters, or, right. yeah, three quarters and two thirds. But I it's more towards three quarters. Right. That's what every, you know, scientist is leaning yeah. towards now. I mean, there's a whole lot more place to water, but what, what are we going to do? Make big, giant boat islands or something i mean like how we gonna... just go into it just go underneath the water oh yeah oh, it'd be kind of like a bioshock like the video game bioshock yeah like i've under... never played bioshock actually bioshock's a great game <laughs> oh, rip. yeah i mean the game like is set in a underground like kind of like a cult of, like these people living under a big underwater city okay and like they had like their own type of like there's like religions and stuff going on, and oh, then wow. it just okay. turns kind of south. It's a little dark. <laughs> it, it it's a little dark, and the game. Oh, I know that it has a good reputation, it, though. I've heard a lot about oh, Bioshock. But... Beautiful story game. Uh, you need to check it out sometime in your life. It's so good. Bioshock. We might One, even two. do a playthrough of it on the channel. We'll see. Oh, playthrough, live stream it, do whatever you need. Hit to. that like button for a playthrough of Bioshock. <laughs> Can we say a number of likes? Can we say a number of likes before we give it? Can we get 15K? <laughs> 15K 15K on likes for a buy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, that's a... I mean, we we could do that. I guess we could make cities and stuff underwater. Somehow like that. I mean, we well, could. Well, it's either that or go into space. You know, it's going to be like Wally. Which way would be cheaper? Well, it's... I don't think it's which way would be cheaper. I think which way would be more efficient because it's going to come down to in the future, we're trying to figure out ways for people to live. We're not going to really care about price. We're going to worry about how are we going to yeah, sustain that's true life. Too. That's true so too. they're going to have to think about, well, how many people can we get into the ocean versus how many people can we get into space or, you know, right. You know, or, or are they going to go from here to just another planet to Mars? You yeah. Know? It's like, how do you describe to like somebody like say if you're leaving the land like oh I'm going back to Pacific Ocean all right see you guys later you know like, <laughs> like I mean do you think that you would ever, do you think you would ever just go do you think you would live in the ocean like that or do you I think would, you would live in Mars or I in would, space if I could do like a like a trial of okay if either I'm going in the water or if I'm going up to space God I don't know which one which one would you pick I would almost I don't know like I have a fear of drowning. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Did you hear that monster outside? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> yeah, there was a uh, mighty beast dog outside. Barking. Yeah, there's a, a gigantic, enormous dog. This so. is a professional podcast. Shut it, dude. One hundred percent. This is coming towards the end of the podcast. By the it way, really so it really is. It really is. is. We're getting about what ten minutes. What yeah. is it? Yeah, we got. So it'll be about fifty. We got about eight minutes left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you hear any howling, it's not werewolves, but it's gonna happen. I do recommend that you're gonna hear howling within the next two minutes, probably. I'd yeah, say. you probably will be. But I mean, would you like? I have a fear of kind of like drowning, like drowning some, like you know. Oh, dude, I think like, I think you mentioned on your last podcast too. Yeah, we were talking like, about the Titanic. I don't, last I, podcast. I don't like that. I might go to space just because. What happens if like something happens and you just drowned underneath? Well, the you know what's even worse in space if you get sucked out in space. You know, when they do Guardians of the Galaxy, you know how... Did you see the second Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, I've seen them all. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to tell you what happens in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Justice, spoiler alert if you don't want to know. You have okay. three seconds to yes. mute it for about two minutes. <laughs> but uh, you know the guy who plays in Walking Dead? Correct. Uh, the guy who's the aerial guy? Yes. I don't know his yes. name. Um, but he dies, right? Yes. Okay. Um, well, when he gets That's frozen... A sad moment. Uh-huh. Yeah. When he gets frozen, it, that wouldn't even happen. The air would be ripped, literally, the air would be ripped from his lungs. Like a vacuum. Just t- taken out, yeah. Just taken out. And yeah. It, but just nothing. You just, yeah, yeah. just, wow. There you go. And you would probably, I mean, you would get frozen. Fre- space is incredibly cold. Right. And um, like, you would also you the frozen shrink crystals a little bit, I think. And stuff, yeah, like we see yeah. people in movies. Yeah. Wow. And it's even crazier what happens to you when you go into a black hole. I don't think I've ever seen what happens in a black hole. Really? I don't think I have. Well, the one thing that happens... In Is it kind of like... like Well, I'll link you to the Vsauce video that I saw. And the one thing that... The biggest impact that I got was this, this thing called spaghettification. Okay. Where you get stretched. 
To, oh, your body wow. gets stretched to the point that you literally become as thin and as long, and you look like, like spaghetti. Noodle. Wow! Yeah. Wow, that—that's what would happen to your body. <laughs> like I don't know if like, I would like that. Like I'm picturing that in my mind. Like I see how it's like, like just pulling you around like that. Well, some people think that we're already in a black hole. Some physicists and scientists think that we are already in a black hole, wow. and we're just living in a black hole right now. We just don't know. That is wild to think that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't even want to think I, because if we're going into a black hole, then we're in, at some point we're just gonna go. Yeah, just be gone. Just be gone. Bye. See you. <laughs> then we're gone. Huh. That gives me like cold chills thinking about that. That's... Well, I think that if it really comes down to it, if people want to th- believe in the Big Bang, I, I don't know about the Big Bang mm-hmm. personally, but I think that white holes are kind of at least what I think came what the universe came from because a black hole is taking out everything and a white yeah, hole pull, is putting, putting it, everything out. It. It's the other side of the black hole. What's just on the other side, side. of a black hole? Yeah, just... We've never seen it. That is true. It's, it's a wormhole, dude. That's what Einstein was telling us. Yeah. Like, can you imagine, like, if you knew that it was somewhat safe? It, like, if you could I'll, travel through that safely. Yeah. If you could just go through that safely and just confirm, like, oh, this is. Well, what if it, the universe is set up like a video game? Correct. Now, th- now this is just, you know, we're going off the wall here. Uh, it's okay. But the universe is set up like a video game, right? And we're just ta- we have to get to the next step. Because mm-hmm. as to survive as as a species, okay, correct. We've got to we've got to leave this planet, correct. Right. Yes, we, we do. We're gonna have to if we if we're gonna get have so many, we're gonna have to at some yeah, point. Yeah, because leave. all of our uh, resources are gonna be depleted. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go look for new resources. Like if you look at a map of America from like back in the day, like in the fifties, sixties, so much there's like America was really green. Now we cut down so many trees and everything. Now it's like a desert in the Midwest and stuff. You know. Yeah. I mean. And so we're going to have to go out like no man's sky and mm-hmm. figure out how to go through wormholes and all that stuff mm-hmm. just to yeah, I'm, just to survive. It's going to be insane. I, I would, like I said, I would kind of, maybe if like, if I'm near my deathbed, <laughs> just like use me as a test subject. I, yeah. See, see, if, see what's on the other side. Just throw me in it. Here we go. Yeah, here Tell us what it's like. Tell me what it's like. And if I can, I can, then... If you can't, can't, you can't. can't. I was about yeah. to die. I was about to die anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, what a way to go! You were a this? guy that got thrown into a black hole. I would, I would, I would, I really want to do that. <laughs> I really want to do that. NASA, if you hear me, <laughs> NASA, if you're watching this, <laughs> send me through a black hole when I'm like 83 years old and I'm about to stroke out and die anyways. Gosh, but man, this has been this has been amazing so far. It, it, well, I mean, dude, that was that was. What we like to call the second episode of the God Pod, dude. Yeah, we got plenty more. He's got plenty more ideas coming up for the next one. I can't wait. It was it be next Saturday as well? As yeah, you... we'll have another one next Saturday. Do you, do you have a set time for Saturdays for um, everybody? Well, see, I was East late Coast last wise. Saturday. I meant to upload. Or it came out on Sunday. I was a, I was a day behind. Okay, was it? I can't remember. Yeah, it came my out, days are all mixed up. I I think it came out on Sunday, but I want to have them out every Saturday. That's why I'm, we're recording this one early. <laughs> this one's a little bit earlier in the week, but uh, we want to make sure we have this one, you know. Oh yeah, uh, that way I can get the video uploaded. And now that now I've got to go back and record and make sure I got the Jurassic World built. So <laughs> Jurassic World built and everything else that you was gonna put up on the screen. Oh, dude, I'll... a Yahtzee's about to come. I can feel it in my nose. Oh, you about, oh. about the Yahtzee's about to oh. sneeze. Okay, no, we're good. I, <laughs> because I said something, it went away. Have you ever heard that, by the way? Yeah, if you say, we'll leave you on this myth, ladies and gentlemen. We'll leave you on this myth. But first, before we do. I want to plug Thomas's channel one more time. He's also got a Twitter. Um, just tell him everything you want him to know. I think it's uh, my Twitter is t at t slayers yt for YouTube. So t slayers yt. That's my Twitter and t slayers at YouTube is my YouTube channel. And so yeah, that's basically about my plug. I do live streams and vlogs. Pokemon Go. Yeah. So that's basically everything. But we'll leave you with this myth. Okay. Now, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Black holes. I'm going to be a test subject.
just can't stay 